Today we'll be going over the remote viewing application for Android, GDMSS Lite. You can download and install from the Play Store. Once you have it installed, go ahead and open it up. You're immediately brought to a four grid view landing, although it does not connect directly uh, right when you open up the application. Select the camera button to the top right, then select the device that you would like to view. Select the number of cameras. And it'll load up the four screen grid view. And swipe left and right to view the other cameras. If you notice in the bottom left there is a grid icon that will allow you to change the view to a four camera view, six camera, nine camera, etc. And if you tap on the window itself, you'll be brought to a one camera view and you can swipe back and forth. On the bottom there is also PTZ controls. If you drag over the menu and select the controls and then select the magnifying glass, zoom controls will appear on the window. You can use the plus to zoom in and the minus to zoom out. Also located here are focus, auto iris, and PTZ presets for preset locations that have already been configured. Let's take a look at those grid views that we were talking about earlier. As you can see here, nine cameras and one pane. Four cameras and one pane here. Now I've double tapped to go back to a single camera view. If you tap the camera icon on the bottom, you will take a snapshot and save it to the local device. I'm just going to swap cameras and take a few snapshots here. If you tap on the menu icon on the left, it'll open up a number of different features. As you can see here, we can go through the image gallery to view our snapshots. You can also manage devices and manage playback settings. Also favorites and configure your PTZ step, capture mode, and real-time playback. To playback previously recorded footage, define a time and a channel and camera, and you can view playback footage. This is footage that has been stored on the NVR directly. You can attach multiple devices using multiple profiles with this application. Simply click Add Device, select IP Domain, and input the proper criteria. Give the profile a logical name, and enter the IP address or DDNS address. The application will use the default ports for the NVR, DVR, or IP camera, which is 3 quadruple 7. If that has been changed, you'll have to change that. It also automatically inputs the default username and password for the administrator account. If you are still using the admin account but have changed the password, input that password here. When you're done, tap Start Live Preview, and your settings will be saved. Thank you for watching. For additional questions, use the comment box below.